Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another pick a card reading which is going to be for all of you out there who are with a specific someone right now but they feel like you know at times maybe this is not the right one that you wanted to have in your life. So you really want to know if this is the person that you're destined to be with or maybe you are with the wrong person. So we are going to find out the answer to the question. Are you with the right one right now? Yes or no? I have pulled out oracle cards as well to give you additional guidance in you know both the both the piles. I will also add some charms as we as we proceed with each pile. So stay tuned. And um, before I dive into the reading, let me remind you: it's a general reading. It may it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So let's dive into the reading and let's find out if you are with the right one or not. So I'm going to start with pile beer. So let's see for the people who chose pile beer. Let's find out if you are with the right one or not. <clears throat> let's see. I'm going to start with the tarot first and then we're going to include the oracle cards. Let's see. Seven Swords, the Emperor, Five of Cups, Nine of Wands. You are in a twin flame journey with a specific someone, whoever it is that you are dealing with. This person is never going to commit to you until unless you pull yourself away from this person, whoever it is that you are dealing with. This person is going to take their time to, to commit, to, give, to open up about their feelings for you to express their love to you, to commit to you, to get engaged to you, to get married to you. They have so many things going on in their life. They have a lot in, on their plate right now. They, they are the most deceptive person that you are dealing with right now. Um, they, they hide their emotions. They, they run away from their feelings. They try to push you away whenever you try to come closer to them emotionally. This person is somebody who you can not rely upon emotionally. Um, this person is somebody who's going to disappoint you many times before they could bring you any happiness. This is somebody who, um, it seems like, you know, they, 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 they are somebody who, who gives you one, you know, if, if we talk about the whole day, you know, out of 24 hours, this person gives you 10 minutes happiness. And then the rest of the day, it's like you are dealing with shit being with this person because this person is somebody who's, uh, not even letting you go, neither giving into the connection. So it's pretty much of that person who, who wants to take the control of this connection, who wants to keep having that, you know, charge in their hand. Uh, this person is very dominating. This person is very much uh, demanding in terms of like, you know, when they want something in this connection, whether they want to meet you up, whether they want to have physical thing with you, whether they want to, uh, you know, uh, whether whether they choose to you know cut you out of their life they they want to be the one doing all those things and they want you to be the submissive one who who doesn't complain much who doesn't you know ask much so that's them like you know if you think that this is the kind of person that you always wanted to be with then yes you are with the right one but in actuality you are not you will be suffering a lot being with this person until and unless this person matures up uh and they are not gonna mature up with the age they are going to mature up if you uh, stop giving them too much of attention or if you stop them, you know, stop putting them on the pedestal, then only this person is going to change. This person is somebody who has their guards up against you, against, uh, you know, um, they, they will not give in, give in to the connection much and uh, more easily is what I'm picking up. They will commit to you, but after years of waiting, you will get what you wanted with this person. So if you think you have that much patience, trust me, a person who is not patient enough, they cannot be with this person for long. If you have been patient with this person, then maybe this is the right one for you. Maybe you, you can, you know, uh, take a, you know, attitude like this from this person. But for majority of you, I feel like, you know, this is something that you need to break free from because this person is not, you know, somebody that uh, anyone would ideally want to be with. If and only if you love this person so badly, so dearly that you that you don't see your life without this person. And if you are so addicted to this person, then only maybe you will choose to be patient with this person. Or if you yourself is one of those kind of people. Because this person is somebody who might be very career oriented as well. If you, if you have something like that in your life which keeps you busy, 
then maybe things will work out between the two of you easily and smoothly otherwise if you are somebody who's not doing much of work and if you don't have any hobbies to keep yourself busy in this person in your connection is not gonna be the healthy one it will have a lot of issues until and unless this person gives into the connection uh you know and that's not gonna happen anytime soon um if you or your person is above 30 maybe it will happen but for majority of you i feel like you know you have a long way to go before this person would commit to you let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading um let's start with this card first getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and that's something which i don't see happening in in this connection your person is most of the time unavailable they they like i said earlier they they push you away they re, they keep running away from their feelings and emotions and expressing them as well so getting to know them or to you know to be in their picture always is going to be the hardest thing ever in this connection so this person will give in to this connection will keep you in the picture if and only if and when they want not when you want so you will always be the least you know uh important person that way for them um even though i do see that they will be committed to you but not how you want it to be like you know you would maybe you would desire them to be more loving they would not be expressive that way let's see what the other people have to add enlightenment enlightenment i feel like you know they they are going to change from the way they used to be and from the way they will be when they commit to you it's going to be a huge difference between the both of them maybe you can manifest the change that you desire to see in this person but again it's a long procedure that you will have to go through before you could have what you want with this person so i don't think that this is the ideal person that you would like to be with um expansion a lot of growth it's a small like a twin flame journey you and this person will grow together individually and then together mutually as well recovery i feel like you know this person and this connection uh that you are in with this person it's it's gonna be like um a long journey for the two of you to 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 what you desire with this uh, this person whoever it is that you're dealing with so it's your call your decision but seeing the energies it's not a healthy bond healthy connection it, it will have a lot of toxicity involved in it um a lot of drama in it uh a lot of disappointment in it but yes if you still want to be with this person that's your choice bring love into the situation that's one of the card the energy is gaining momentum it will gain momentum the good things in connection will gain momentum once this person matures up so it may take long enough than you would like to wait adjustments are required and the adjustments are required from both ends. if you think you can keep yourself busy the way they are busy if you think you can hold your emotions back the way they are holding their emotions back then maybe you both can make it work quick but for majority of you i feel like it's, it's not going to be an easy thing for you to deal with this connection and the way this person is is something which you are not you know um desiring in your connection that's what i'm picking up let's take the charms now let's see what the charms have to add to the read for you guys let's see <laughs> so we don't have any else of it the love between a grandmother and a granddaughter is forever the love that you share with this person is forever there is a lot of love but one person is more mature as compared to the other but the uh, there is a strong chance of you ending up together with this person if and only if you choose to accept them the way they are because they're not going to change anytime soon um for some of you maybe you you are uh, um your grandmother grandparents prayers might help you to to get you what you want with this person but i feel like you know this person is somebody who's uh, going to take their due time to give into the connection exactly the way you want so um i feel like you know it's it's um if you think you are a patient person and you you don't mind waiting on for them and you don't mind them taking the control of this connection maybe then maybe this is the right one for you but for majority of you i feel like you know you are completely desiring a different kind of person so maybe this is not the right one for you so yeah let's move on to the next pile which is the rabbit pile Ta -da! let's see for the rabbit pile people let's see if you are with the right one or not let's move on let's find out let's um check the tarot first and then we're going to include the oracle and then at last we're going to take the charms let's see nine of cups nine of swords the hangman two of swords oh my god you are with the right one just that you are being impatient you know you want things to go quick 
things are very slow in this situation in this connection which adds a lot of stress in your life it's almost like the you know it's, it's more like a mis missing uh piece of puzzle from the file one um it's more talking about you and your energy in this connection and in the first pile it talked more about the other person's energy now when it comes to this connection and you you being with this person i feel like you know this person is the wish fulfillment for you they have all the things that you wanted in your person or in your guy in your girl they are exactly how you want them to be but when it comes to um you know the issues in the connection there are they are still there like you know there are some issues that you are dealing with in this connection with the specific someone you want things to pace up your person is somebody who's taking their time to decide you find it very hard to focus on any other area of your life when things are not working well with this person so it's more like you know you you this person is your wish fulfillment but at the same time things are not as smooth as you would want it to go because there are certain delays and the delays are causing you question are you with the right one or not shall you move on shall you not uh shall you just uh, you know pull yourself out of this connection so so you could have something better for yourself or not so i feel like you know the delays in this connection the the delay coming in this connection coming from your person's end is causing you a lot of trouble you find it very hard to stay patient you find it very hard to uh stick to this person you sometimes feel like moving on you sometimes feel like you know i don't know do i need to do this or not but at the same time this person is your wish fulfillment this person really wants uh is the one that you really want when it comes to this person's energy i feel like you know this person is somebody who's pretty much absent in this connection like you know their energy is missing in this connection it's more of you taking a lot of stress in this connection your person could be somebody who is um you know kind of a silent or or some some somewhat like a silent person or somebody who doesn't express much who doesn't give much time and stuff you want things to pace up things cannot be paced up right now because of your person's you know situation they are indecisive they are not ready to commit right now but yes this connection is adding a lot of stress in your life now again if you think this person is your wish fulfillment then you have to start getting patient around it you have to get yourself busy doing something else so you don't focus on this person more most of the time if there are certain delays don't let these delays get the best of you or the connection why because maybe the delays are making you feel like you know what if they also don't commit to you or uh, later on like your past person didn't now if you are letting your fears from the past get in the way then it's your mistake again maybe you are wishing to come this person to commit to you because of the, your past fears because you are fearful that what if this person leaves you in the middle of the situation what you're going to do now all your fears are coming because there are delays in this connection and all these delays are coming you know the fears that are coming from the past you know connections is is uh, basically destroying the connection because you are not enjoying living in the moment with this person you want things to pace up they want things to slow down and that's why you will be having a lot of conflicts with this person you will be kind of you know maybe picking up fights with this person they are not giving you enough time you are not happy with that you want things to pace up not because uh, you you um you want it you are scared of uh, what happens if if they later on don't uh, commit to you so you do have lots of fears uh, around this person around this connection I feel like you know if and only if you could work on your fears trust me the situation between the two of you would be improving plus if you start living in the moment that too will help you to ease the tension in this connection that you have with your specific someone i don't see that there is anything wrong with this person or the connection just that you need to be patient just that you need to let go of the fears and try to absorb things the way they are or allow things to happen on the divine time let's see what the oracle has to add to the reading i'm going to start with this card here and then we're going to take the um charms finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now for some of you maybe your person is somebody who's busy with their finances and you know they are dealing with their career stuff so maybe they are not investing much of their time and energy into the connection right now which is again could be the reason why there are certain delays in their love life situation maybe they are working on this financial stability right now and you, meanwhile it's getting hard for you to stay patient so again if you think you you want your love life to move forward maybe you need to move on but again if you move on and if you do the same mistake you ask the other person to commit to you there and then and you know to pace things up it's not going to get you what you want so you have to understand that there is something that you are doing wrong here you need to heal yourself from the past first then be patient and believe in your prayers and believe in the love that you have for this person 
until unless this um, you know this calmness come from within things will not change in your connection with be that with this person or be that with any other person so you need to work on your inner peace um that will help this connection and any other connection that you would choose to be with uh in later in future let's see more <clears throat> more cards here step out of your comfort zone maybe you need to get yourself busy doing something else so you don't think heavily around this person and this connection a new start is coming um a new start can come in this connection like i said if you if you work on your fears and doubt you you will have a new beginning within this uh, connection communication is the key right now maybe because if your person is busy with their work and scenarios maybe there is lack, lack of communication in this connection as well which is definitely affecting the connection in a bad way but again if you invest yourself into something productive into something fun your energies towards this person will also get you know um um easy and you will not be stressing around them so that too will help the connection and the energy of the connection as well let's see more cards here mysticism there's a lot of um you you start feeling like you know why this person is not committing to me why they are not giving me much time maybe you find you find like you know maybe they are cheating on you or they are doing this and that but in actuality their work is the only issue there so maybe for some of you maybe you need to get yourself busy doing th something else so you stop overthinking about them now there is a lot of passion in this connection between the two of you but again i feel like you know if you follow your god if you follow your intuition if you follow your your inner calling around this connection you will choose to wait on for this person because there is something that binds you two together but at the same time there's lack of understanding in this connection and there's a lot of fear in in uh, within you about this uh, person about this connection you fear that maybe you're going to lose this connection but again if you have uh, prayed for it if you have affirmed it it will not like you know let you down so you just have to have your faith intact and uh, don't feed your fear around this connection and everything is good in this connection but yes you have to live in the moment enjoy the moment with this person and try not to overthink about what's going to happen in the future just go with the flow and things will be you know working well for you so uh, meanwhile you can always use affirmations to keep yourself calm and easy around this person and this situation let's see what the charms have to add to the reading So we do have two alphabets, C, it can be your name initial, name initial of the person that you are dealing with, and then we do have a U. Uh, we do have the scissors, so maybe there are certain things that you need to cut down um, from your nature or from their nature. Now it's again, we do have a fan, so you don't have to fan your fear, you have to fan your faith. Uh, things will be changing in this connection, but again, for that you have to change your mindset around them. Uh, there is strong love in this connection, I feel, but yes. Your fears are getting dominant here in the connection, which is definitely uh, getting the best of this connection for sure. So yeah, that's pretty much it for, for you for this read. If the reading resonated with you or, you or if it helped you in one way or the other, do like, share and subscribe. If you are willing to get a personal reading or if you are willing to purchase affirmations or any other you know, services that I offer, check the description box for further details on that. Till I do the next reading for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.